from the sixth grade class was here for Steven Stoffel.
kid that we sponsor, and we collect this offering so we can send money to him because he needs his education and he's like money for food and stuff. So we're going to ask you guys a couple of questions about Sakayo. I don't know if you're going to ride since you guys just said you didn't know him. So what is his favorite animal? A what? Be right. 
Good morning. Good morning. Wild tenders here. The rest of you got to sort of sleep or something. All right, today is our summer missions chapel. We're going to hear from a few students who uh, took part in a, a missions trip this summer. We're going to tell a little bit about basically three things before where they went, what they did, and what they learned. And then after that, we're going to have a special presentation to our, from our Costa Rica missions team and what they're going to be doing next year. And we're uh, so looking to see if anyone else wants to go. So let's start with Jonah. Come on up, Jonah Boyce. So Jonah, tell us where you went, what you did, and what you learned. I went to Oklahoma to help with the tornado wreckage, and um, we helped a whole bunch of families out. We helped out um, taking down two, three houses, and we cleaned up four, I believe. We stayed there for about a week. Um, pretty much, we just helped out with the rest of the um, cleanup, but. Um, we actually didn't know about this until our church actually mentioned it. Um, one of the uh, staff there actually made an announcement, so then we just decided to go one day. Um, we were actually going to stay there for three days, but then we just decided, well, they asked us if we could stay longer, and then we decided that we could. Um, but this pretty much all. Uh, So anyway, I'm going to talk about 
um, our street would be seen. So we went to this building and they're like prepping us for what we're about to do. And they're all like, okay, you guys feel like you're ready and stuff? And they're like, yeah, we feel ready. And it was, how do you feel like talking to homosexuals? And they're like, what? And he goes, well, you guys are lucky because today's gay pride day. So they're all like, yay. And it was like, we went out there and there are rainbows everywhere. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a crazy night. But what happens in Minnesota stays in the house, kid. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we talked to a lot of people on the street. It was really, <laughs> it was a really cool experience. What I learned is whatever you bring to the plate, God can take it and use it for something awesome.
Foreign Missions is all about. What's it like to be a missionary in other countries? We like to serve other believers. We want to go with the servant's heart. We want to evangelize with those believers in Costa Rica, raise people for Christ. Uh, we're going to learn to appreciate different culture, different customs, different language. What language do they speak in Costa Rica? Espanol. We're going to learn about God's creation. Costa Rica is a beautiful, beautiful country. This is a, just one picture of many we can put up there. Lush, green country. Mountains everywhere. Uh, very, very beautiful. So we're going to see God's creation and thank Him for that creation. We're going to have a lot of fun, too. Okay? Now, how are we going to accomplish these different goals? Well, the next, well, first of all, we have a map so you guys know where we're going. Um, Costa Rica is Central America, just north of Panama, to south of Honduras. All right, so there it is in the, in the map. The next slide, we have some slides that should talk about how we're going to accomplish our objectives, our goals when we go to Costa Rica. Um, how are we going to grow closer to, to God and to one another? Here's a picture of us working together. We'll, we'll be working side by side in different places. We have a lot of pre-trip meetings. In fact, our first official team meeting is going to happen this Saturday at 10 o'clock here at Boy Campus. So if you see this and you think, you know what? Hearing about this summer mission phase and hearing about Costa Rica trip, I think I want to be on this. I think God's calling me to be part of this team. It's not too late, okay? But if you are interested, talk to me after chapel, talk to me before Saturday, and I'll get you up to speed about what's going on and what you need to do, and we expect to see you at the team meeting on, on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to have a number of, of team meetings. Uh, we're, when we're on the trip, we're going to study. We're going to have a, a Bible study book about the 12 disciples. Uh, we're going to have daily team meetings when we're in Costa Rica. We're going to work, play, and minister all together. So those are the ways we're going to grow closer to one another and go grow closer to God. Right, the next objective, next slide. We're going to develop an appreciation and understand of foreign missions by, go ahead, by raising support. That's what missionaries have to do. They have to go and ask people to be part of this, this ministry by giving their financial support. Okay, which is not an easy thing to do. Would you give me money for uh, this trip? We're going to share in, in chapels like today and in churches. We're going to be uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, we're going to be out of our comfort zone, like Sarah said. Sometimes missions is about being out of your comfort zone, being uncomfortable. We're going to speak Spanish. We're going to eat some strange food. And we're going to be away from home. So those are things that are the missionaries go through on a day-by-day -day basis. And we're going to learn about that. What, what does it mean to be uh, a missionary in a foreign field? Serving other believers. There's Sarah and Libby painting. Last time um, we went to Costa Rica, we were doing a lot of manual labor. We don't know exactly what yet, okay? We haven't defined that yet, it's still a ways off, but we will be doing manual labor, supply some painting, some carpentry type of thing. Um, we're going to donate funds to the Costa Ricans down there that need funds. Um, we're going to minister through things like mimes, special songs, messages in churches, devotionals. Uh, we're going to share our testimonies. And, and we're going to probably teach some English lessons to the, to the Costa Ricans down there. So a number of things we'll be doing to, to serve other people down in Costa Rica. Next slide. Evangelizing with other believers. There are many different ways to do that. Uh, with our testimony, hopefully they'll see our lives and see that we have love and, and unity amongst our team. And that will attract them to, to us and to God in return. Um, last time we went to Costa Rica, we did a mine in the park. With Mr. Dava and, and, and Kaylee being the main people in the, in the mine. We're, we won't do the same one. We're going to look for a different mine. We haven't chosen that yet. So if you have any ideas for us, let us know. We do outreach to children and young people, might hand out some tracts, might go and teach in the high school. This is a picture taken from last time when Mrs. C went. She was teaching an English class in the local public school to the high schoolers that are in the school. It's only like a block away from the church where we stay, so it's really convenient for us to walk down to the school and teach some English lessons. Very large classes. We're going to learn to appreciate different cults, uh, culture, customs, and language by... Wow. Staying in a Costa Rican home. One night, each person will be sent to a Costa Rican home to spend the, the evening and the night there, come back to church the next morning. It'll be Saturday night and Sunday morning. We usually go in parish, you know. I think most people like to go in parish unless they're really brave, they go all by themselves in this home, this Costa Rican home. Um, we'll be probably playing a lot of soccer. That's the main sport in Costa Rica. Doing activities with the youth group down there, the young people in the church. 
We'll visit an open market, observe and try new things, okay, including the food. We'll learn more about God's creation by just looking around us. Maybe see some special insects. Maybe use some big spiders. I'm sure they have tarantulas and things like that. So that'll be kind of exciting. exciting. Uh, we'll probably visit a beach. We usually do. Beach and tropical rainforest. Like I said, Costa Rica is a beautiful, beautiful country. We're going to see the sights there for a little bit. We're going to enjoy sunny mornings because we'll be there during rainy season. So most of the mornings will be sunny. The afternoons will probably get rainy. And we'll see some rain. The other objective is to have fun. How are we going to have fun? Basically, by all of the above, all, doing all those things together as a team. All right? So you can pray for us as we organize our team. Um, there's a number of prayer requests here. Uh, Mr. Thompson, we have time for people to share why they decided to be on this team. Two minutes, so very briefly. Does anybody want to share why they decided to be on the Costa Rican team this next year? Um, this will be my third trip to Costa Rica. I think partly for me is, is I've kind of developed that that um, relationship with some people down there. I just I love Mr. Beavis's extended family and uh, just their love for God and how they've kind of ministered in that area. Um, but for me, I, last year, last time I took my daughter, and this time I'm taking my all three of my oldest, and I'm really excited about that. I really want my children to learn what it means to to live out their faith uh, and and. And, and do what God has commanded us to do, to go into all the world, preaching and baptizing and, and, and doing those things that he's commanded us to do. And I think this is just an excellent way to be able to show them a, a, one way of how to live out your life for Christ. Anybody else want to share? One minute left. These people up here have made a commitment to be on this team. If you are interested, talk to me. Talk to your parents about it. Say, hey, mom, dad, I'm thinking about the Costa Rica trip team. What do you think? If they want to contact me, talk to me about the details of that, that would be great. Okay, but before Saturday, we would really want you to be at the team meeting on Saturday if you're part of this team. All right? Thank you very much. Before you head out, um, hey guys, we don't need a chapel to you this. Do you guys know that? Yes, some of you guys have been here for quite a while. Neverly Chapel is when the bell rings. We wait to this next. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about small groups in a second. Before we do that, Mr. C has an important announcement. Um, as the weather starts to get cooler, some of you have jackets or sweatshirts on, and I just want to remind you um, that if you, from Monday through Thursday, if you're going to wear a sweatshirt, a sweater, a jacket, it has to be a solid color, um, gray, black, white, or red. On Friday, you know, if you choose to wear a sweatshirt, it could be any color, if it has RCCS on it, okay? But Monday through Thursday, you can't wear blue, you can't wear brown, you can't wear multicolored ones. Um, right. Questions? Yes. If they're solid, yes. Yeah. Your coaches will talk about the game days. All right, in just a second, you'll be going off to your first small group session of the year. So for some of you who aren't familiar with what you do with small groups, you're going to be meeting with your class. So if you're in ninth grade, you're going to meet with the ninth graders. If you're in seventh grade, you'll meet with the seventh graders. So what you need to do when you're dismissed, you're going to go to your sponsor's class. So if you are in 12th grade, you go to Mr. Boulder's class. So if you're in 7th grade, you'll go to Mr. Davila's class, or the art room. If you're in 6th grade, you get the biggest treat of all, you get to go to my classroom. So if you are not sure, if you're not sure where to go, ask a teacher or ask somebody else in your class, and uh, that'll be good. Alright, now you are dismissed, go ahead and put away your chair and head off to small groups.